Okay, it's day three of quarantine and today I need to take a quick test. So when I came through the airport, they gave me three of these that I have to do on my own and then tell them if I'm sick or not. And hopefully everything's okay. So before my flight, I had to take a PCR test that was within two days of my flight and uh, I got a negative result. So I was able to come to Taiwan. And then upon landing, they gave me another PCR test at the airport, um, which I don't think I, they've sent me the results yet, but I assume that was negative too. Uh, knock on wood. Uh, I feel okay. And then they gave me three self-tests, the antigen tests, or quick tests, uh, to take on my own. So uh, let's go through how to do this. Uh, I've done a lot of these. I don't know if you've done one yet, but over the next coming weeks and months, you might have to take them because uh, Omicron is going crazy everywhere. And so we need to be ready. So uh, this is a kind of test I've never seen before. So let's give it a try. <clears throat> First up, what I need to do is I need to prepare this vial. So I have a bottle in here. And so what I do, put that upright here. And that's what it says. And then they call this a buffer bottle. So it's a bottle of liquid and I'll have to put some drops into this vial. So how much? I think all of it. For this test, you put all of this liquid inside. And so, take my time so I make sure not to make a mistake. And then, um, yeah, put it in here. Okay. Not so much in there, but should be good. Goes up to the line. Yeah, at or slightly above the fill line. So looks okay for now. And then what's next? Now I have my swab, the fun part. And this swab, if you can see, there's a little notch on it where you can break the swab later. So what you do, you stick it up your nose, stick it up both nostrils. So I've done this a bunch, here we go. Ooh. And then put it into the liquid and swirl five times. One, two, three, four, five. It says at least five times, so let's keep on going. One, two, three, four, five. Well, whatever, just keep on going. You want it nice and mixed, right? Ooh, yuck. And then uh, what you do is you, it says pinch the tip to remove liquid. So you want to squeeze it out, I guess. This is a new kind of test for me. And then you break it. So like I said, there's a point that you can break it. So you snap. And then we have our test tube of Kyle's boogers. Yuck. And then for this test, you leave it in that little thing. And you put a cap on. Are we finished? No, that's just our sample. 
And then here, this is the real test. Uh, inside the sealed package is our test, which will um, show how we're doing. So every test is a little bit different, but more or less the same. Okay. So we have a packet that keeps it dry. And then you can see here, it looks like that. So C is control, which means for science, the control means that, um, how do you say that? It's uh, kind of the baseline. It's some the line that shows you not what you're testing. And then T, so C is control, T is the actual test. So C should have a line and then T should have no line. So if you see a line for T, for C, that's okay. That means normal. Uh, if you have a no line on T, then you're okay. If there is a line on T, that means you're in trouble. You, you're probably sick. So what do you do next? Put this flat on the table. It needs to stay flat. And then here we have our uh, sample. And what you do, unscrew the cap and put five drops in the thing. Five, right? And I already read these instructions before. I'm just double checking. If you're doing this test, be very careful with the instructions. Follow what it says. And so, we unscrew and then five drops. Okay. And then you keep this flat on the table. Don't touch it, hands off. And then we wait 15 minutes and find out our results. And if there's one line on C, nothing on T, then you're safe. If there's a line on C and a line on T, you're in trouble, you have COVID. If there are no lines, there's something wrong with the test. So you have to get a new one or try again. Okay, so let's wait 15 minutes and then uh, see what happens. Okay, see you later. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes since my test and it looks like I'm in the clear. Good, I'm negative. So I got on a bunch of different planes, flew to a few different cities, and was able to stay away from Omicron. So let's take a look at the testing strip and what it actually means. So here's the testing strip and let's take a look at what we're looking for. So C is control and what you want, there should be a line at C. C for control and if there's a line, it means the test worked. And then T is the actual test. This is the thing we're looking for. If there is nothing there, like in my test, that means you're negative, and that's good. If you have a line at T, that means you might be positive and you might have COVID. And so you have to get a PCR test to check and make sure. If there's no line at C, that might mean that your test didn't work. So you might have to find a different test. So what we want is a line at C, no line at T, and that means you're safe. So lucky me. So that's how you take a quick test. It's not a fun thing to do, but we all have to do it, especially because Omicron is spreading so quickly. We all have to be extra careful and make sure to check ourselves before we see our families or little kids or if, before we go anywhere. So, um, yeah, maybe you've never done one of these tests before, but you might have to do it soon. And so we have to get used to it. So hopefully this video helped and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.